Hello, third grade families. I am Miss McCray, and I am going to introduce you to a brand new resource that will hopefully help you all navigate all of the information that you have been receiving from your classroom teacher. We got some feedback that it had been difficult to go back in your emails and find some of the information that was shared. So we wanted to create an opportunity or a resource for you all to use that's gonna house all of the information we have already sent out to you and everything up to our current, our most current updates. So this is the brand new third grade website that we have designed to help you. Um, you're looking at my screen right now, but it may show up differently on your screen depending on the type of computer you have or the device that you're using. But once you are invited to access this website, you will see this homepage. And essentially it's just letting you know that this is a central hub where you can come to locate all previous and current resources. You see here it says a one-stop archive. So that's kind of how we're using this website. So you'll be able to use the menu on this site to find any of the resources that you might need to help navigate or get through the upcoming weeks of phase two. We are still, as a third grade team, going to be sending out our Friday email updates with all of the most current information and the um, upcoming week's parent materials guide that has your class specific information on it. But after those Friday emails are sent, the first page of that parent materials guide where all of the instructional activities are listed will be uploaded here to this website. And then any of that class specific information that you might need will also be here on this website. That includes things like ways to turn in assignments, office hours, and even the Zoom links. So I'm going to go ahead and just give you a quick tour of the website so that you see where everything is and how it's all set up. So I'm gonna go ahead and click to the Parent Materials Guides page. And you'll see that um, we have some listed here for the first three weeks. You can hover over that image and if you click on it, it's gonna take you to that respective Parent Materials Guide or at least the first page of that Parent Materials Guide so that you all can go back and reference it to see what was done in previous weeks and then also continue to access all of those links that are embedded in each of those documents. So the first three are here, and then as soon as week four happens, we'll upload week four. We also have a page for our YouTube channel. You can access the whole channel here at this link, or you can access the specific playlists for each week. So you'll notice we have our introductory videos where this video will be located, and you have playlists for the first three weeks. Um, so if you click on that, it'll take you right over to that playlist so that you all can watch the videos for that week. And then as we create new playlists for each week, we will continue to add those links for you here. Our Friday Family Updates page features just the announcement portions of our Friday email updates. We have them listed here with the dates when they were sent out to you all. Again, you can just click on that image and it will take you to a PDF of the announcements only version of that week's email. So you'll see you've got your announcements listed here at the top and then those respective announcements on the pages with all of the links from that email. So that covers our parent materials guides, our YouTube channel, and our Friday family updates. You'll notice that this next page, it says your class info. You can use the drop down arrow to access your specific classroom information. But if you click on your class info, it will take you again to another menu and you can select your child's teacher's name. Just for the sake of the video, I'll click on my page. Um, each teacher page will list their options for turning in weekly assignments, our specific office hours, um, and a request for emails to schedule appointments. And then some of that most important information about connecting as a whole class. It'll have your class hangout time, a link to your Zoom on this image, and then your meeting ID and password to make sure that you can actually get in to the hangout that the class is doing. Now, one other thing that is new on this website, new information that has not been previously featured in email updates or parent materials guides, is this last page. 
called Read Alouds. Our team thought it would be a really fun way to introduce some books to the students by providing them with some audio and some video readings of some books that we love. So to start off, we've got four titles listed here. Um, Wish Tree, Dino Riders, Grandma and the Great Gourd, and The True Story of the Three Little Pigs. If the books are chapter books, they are audio files, and if they are picture books, they could be audio files or video files, but all you have to do is click on the image of the book and it will take you to a folder with all of the recordings so that you can listen to the stories being read by one of the third grade teachers. Um, we have included descriptions of the books here and the authors so that you all can read about them and decide which ones you'd like to listen to or watch. We're really excited about this part of the website. So definitely keep checking back for updated books and then additional recordings for some of those longer chapter books as we continue to upload them to the folders that are linked to the pictures of the books. All right, so that is the gist of the website. So just again, this is a central hub, one-stop archive for you families to use to help you find previously shared information like the parent materials guides, our YouTube channel and the playlists there our family email updates from Fridays, your specific class information here so that you can find your teacher's office hours and Zoom hangouts. And then of course, what we're so excited about, the opportunity to access some read-alouds from home. All right, I hope that this was helpful. If you have any questions, please just reach out to your classroom teacher and we will be happy to help you with any questions you have about the website and the phase two in general. Thanks.